Sales reporting is absolutely crucial for your team, and Airtable allows you to have near real-time reporting as long as your sales team is entering their data in a timely manner. We're going to be building out some reporting and metrics today, and there's going to be a few specific questions we're going to answer. The first question is how many contacts is each rep responsible for? The second question is what is the value of the total deals for each rep? And the final question is how many contacts are in each location? And this will give us a good sense of how reporting works with an Airtable and it'll help you build the confidence to get started. Hi, I'm Cherry Yang, founder of AirOps Consulting. We are a full service Airtable consulting company helping our clients with all of their Airtable and database needs. Please visit our website at airopsconsulting.org. Let's get started. As we're figuring out the number of contacts each rep is responsible for, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different ways to get this number. The first method we're going to do is creating a roll up field within the rep table. Now you can go ahead and start a new field called number of contacts. This new field is going to be a roll up field and the table you're going to be rolling up from is the contacts table. The column I've chosen is full name and the formula I'm going to write is count a and in brackets values. Count A as a formula basically means give me a count of all the values within the full name table that is not blank. And because none of our names are blank, it's going to count the values. So go ahead and save that. The sum of the values we expect to see is four. And that's what we have here. We can see that John has one contact that he's responsible for, whereas Sarah has two. So that's a really good way of implementing reporting if you have a free Airtable plan right now. But if you do have a paid version, I'm going to show you how to install the apps in order to include some charts. On the right hand side, you can click into the apps section and click on install an app. The app we're going to install is called Chart. For the first chart that we're going to create, I'm going to create it from the contacts table. So from Table, select contacts, and under view, select the grid view. In the future, when your data becomes more complex, you may have filtered views, and of course you can choose to create charts and graphs based on different sets of views. For chart type, we'll leave it as a bar chart. On the x-axis, we're going to want to just select the rep. Now this shows us each one of our reps on the bottom on the X axis and the number of reps they have. The reporting numbers are exactly the same as what we just built in our reps table. Next, we also want to report on the deal value that each rep is potentially going to have or already has. The first field we'll create is the deal potential field. This is going to be a roll up field. To configure the roll up field, you're going to be pulling from the opportunities table. The specific field you want to roll up is the deal amount field. The formula for that field is going to be sum of the values. Once you hit save, you'll see the value or the potential deal value for each one of your reps. If you're the sales manager or the owner of the company, you know very well that just knowing the deal potential isn't enough. You'll want to also know the value of the deals that were won. This is again going to be a roll up field. In this roll up field, we're again pulling from the opportunities table and pulling from the deal amount field. The difference lies in the condition that we're going to set. We want to set a specific condition where we're only summing the total deal value for deals that were already won. So the way we're going to do that is by saying where the stage contains closed dash one. And we're going to sum those values together. Go ahead and save that. At the moment, we haven't won any deals. So we're going to go ahead and make some updates within our database. Within the opportunities table, I'm going to pick a couple of deals and I'm going to update their stage. 
after I've updated the stage for those first two deals, my metrics will change. Back on the reps table, when we look at the value of deals one field, when we look at that field now, the numbers have already updated. At this point, our metrics are going to be much more meaningful because we know what is the value of the deals one versus the potential for all of the deals. And you can also create another formula field that calculates the percentage of the deals won. And if you want to take this further on your own, you can also create another formula field that takes the value of total deals won divided by the deal potential to get your percentage of deal value realized for a given period of time. The third question we're going to answer is how many contacts live within a specific city? This may be especially important if you've got a field sales team that needs to go out to different areas within a city, then in that case, you might do this calculation based on neighborhoods. We're going to the location table and creating a new field called number of contacts. This is again going to be a roll up field of the contacts table. Once again, the field we're going to be rolling up is their full name. The formula is going to be count A and in brackets values. Once you save that, we can see that there are two people in Texas, one in LA and one in Bentonville. This is exactly what we were expecting. Once again, this is a really great option if you have the free version of Airtable. If you have a paid account on Airtable, we can go ahead and install a pie chart in the apps section. To do that, you can go ahead into the app section and on the bottom say install an app. We'll once again be installing the chart. When we're configuring this chart, we want to first select a pie chart. Again, we're going to be pulling from the contacts table and using the grid view. For the category field, we want to select the location and for the values, we'll select the count. Go ahead and save that. The pie chart is exactly what we expect to see. There are two people in Texas, one in Bentonville, and one in LA. Once again, I'm Cherry Yang, founder of AirOps Consulting, and we are a full service Airtable consulting company that helps you with all of your database and automation needs. Please reach out to us if you have any questions and you can schedule an initial conversation with us by clicking the link down below.